Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some Korean skincare that was sent to me by Style Varna. Now, this couldn't have come at a more timely time for me as I am trying to get my skin back into its optimal health. Using skincare, I've been very basic in what I've been using on my skincare recently whilst having chemotherapy and radiation and I've only been using a hydrating essence and a moisturiser, keeping all actives out of my skincare routine. Now my skin has changed dramatically since starting the treatment I had for breast cancer and my skin used to be oily combo but now it's very dry dehydrated so I had been looking at where I was going to go for my skincare and how I was going to do that when Stalvana reached out to me and offered to send me some products to try. So I'm going to go through those products with you and let you know what I think of them. I have been using them for a little while now so I can share my thoughts. You can use this coupon code when purchasing from Stylevana and that will give you a 10% discount and if your order goes above a certain dollar value I will leave that information down in the description box. You will get 15% discount so I'll leave all that information in the description box below but the minimum discount that you can receive is 10% by using this code in the checkout process. Hi guys, if you are new to my channel, my name is Ange and I love to share all things beauty and lifestyle aimed at the more mature woman. Now, I'm excited about this video because I love skincare and as I mentioned, my need for skincare has changed dramatically to the skincare that I was using previously. So, I am looking forward to reviewing these products for you. If you are interested in skincare, makeup, eyeshadow tutorials please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button down below I would love to see you back I do upload videos on a weekly basis and uh, it'd be great to have you as part of the Angela Stewart beauty family now the first product that I have been using and I've been using this as my nighttime moisturizer is the Hamish Matcha Biome Intensive Repair Cream. It's a probiotics moisturizer. Now I have been really enjoying this. It's a, a cream that I have also used during the day as well because it's not too greasy and emollient but it is very nourishing and it just feels beautiful on the skin so after I've applied my moisturizing essences and a serum this is a beautiful way to end off my skincare routine with this beautiful cream it has skin loving ingredients matcha biome active it's a matcha probiotic and that is calming and moisturizing on your skin and helps to strengthen your skin barrier which is something that I've really needed to do is strengthen my skin barrier. The chemo was really brutal on my skin towards the end and I really found that my face flared up very inflamed in the end it was like I had three degree burns on my face. It blistered, it went very dark pinky and was super tender and has left me with quite a bit of uh, pigmentation so repairing my skin barrier has been really important and this moisturizer has been absolutely beautiful to use. 
This is also a really good moisturizer because it's not a heavy cream. It's great for oily combo skins as well. So I would have been able to use this prior as um, I had oily combo skin, but I still find it really nourishing on my skin now as well but it is suitable for oily skin as well because as much as it's hydrating it's not heavy and overly greasy it just sinks into your skin but you feel very very hydrated so it's great for oily skins you just need to apply a thin layer of this and it will really moisturize your skin without feeling too over the top too greasy and too emollient and for me I use a bit more of a thicker layer for my drier skin because it just soaks it up and I am loving it in the evening. Now this product does out that it is free from harmful chemicals uh, the 20 free that they claim they stay away from and that includes parabens uh, artificial colorings hormones really important for me that there are no estrogen hormones in my skincare because uh, I was estrogen positive with my breast cancer so I'm really looking closely at my skincare and they were so thoughtful when I told them my story and so that is another reason why they sent this particular moisturizer to me because it's one of the harmful chemicals that they have left out of this particular moisturizer. So I can highly recommend this moisturizer. I love it and I will be repurchasing it. I love Hamish anyway. My favorite cleansing balm is the Hamish All Clean. Absolutely love that cleansing balm and has been on such a repeat purchase for me. So love the brand and loving that moisturizer. Now, vitamin C, I have not been using vitamin C since I was diagnosed or since I started treatment on New Year's Eve last year. So I took all of my actives out of my skincare and one that was really important that I took out was vitamin C. Vitamin C can interrupt the if efficacy of chemotherapy, it, the, the antioxidants all of antioxidants and vitamin C especially can interrupt what the chemo is supposed to be doing so I wasn't allowed to take vitamin C in supplements and I stopped using it for my skincare as well so because I haven't been using it we are now in September I haven't been using it for this whole year I wanted to get into vitamin C very gently. Now this product is perfect. It's the Pareto Pure Vitamin C Serum and the reason that I'm happy with this one is that it is only 5% of vitamin C and is a great way for me to get myself back into using a vitamin C. Uh, now this has pure ascorbic acid 5% with sodium hyaluronate. It says it promotes smooth even complexion, maintains the elasticity and is fragrance free. Now the only downside to this darling little product, fragrance free is great, but this stinks. It really has got a pungent smell to it. I am still using it and I had to go and look up some other reviews on this because I thought mm, is it off or you know what's the story here. So it's not off it is just got a slight color to it so it hasn't turned. The whole thing is is because it's fragrance free and there's no nasties it's vegan and cruelty free and it's just by not having those added extra things to take the smell now when I say it pongs 
as I said, I was reading reviews and one review said it smelt like bitter coffee. And that is exactly what it smells like. I could not put my finger on it. I just knew it didn't smell like my normal skincare. So it does smell like bitter co coffee, but once it's absorbed into your skin, that smell dissipates. It's just when you are putting it on, you just, whoa, that is a smell. But I am going to continue using it. It is vegan and cruelty free. You can use it day or night because it's only 5%. I am still using mine in the evening. I'm very basic in the mornings with just um, cleansing, toning, moisturizer, sunscreen. It's EO and fragrance free and it has a pH of 3.5. So really happy with that. Like the fact that it is only 5% pure ascorbic acid. If you are sensitive to vitamin C, it may be something that you want to try. I am enjoying it. I'm having no issues with it and it is a lovely way of introducing vitamin C back into my skincare. Ascorbic acid helps to brighten the complexion and improve an uneven skin tone. It helps fade the appearance of sun damage and hyperpigmentation, which is really important to me because that's one of my major issues, while visibly addressing dullness and loss of firmness, making skin look healthy and radiant. This particular serum has been reformulated with natural agents that prevent rapid oxidation and to improve its stability. It's packaged in a dark brown container to help give it maximum protection against sunlight. I store all of my skincare in my wardrobe and it's all out of sunlight anyway. No sunlight to to worry and I don't leave my skincare in my bathroom because I don't like it being sort of affected with the humidity and the steam from my bathroom. The core ingredients within the serum are bamboo water that helps strengthen the skin barrier and soothe the damaged skin. Once again, anything to help me with my skin barrier. So I'm really happy about that. The ascorbic acid, sodium hyaluronate. Um, it prevents moisture evaporation and it restores the skin's adequate moisture balance. So really important with my dehydration that I'm dealing with as well. It also has adenosine. This smooths the skin reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and improves healthy looking skin. So it's addressing everything I need to. My hyperpigmentation, my dehydration and my fine lines and wrinkles because I am 56. I need all my help I can get with that. So I'm really enjoying this product. I just need to get past the smell, which I am because I am using it every second night at the moment so I'm alternating it with other skincare ingredients that I'm using so the vitamin C I'm using every second night and then on alternate nights I'm using an exfoliating serum or um, some retinol and I'm only using the retinol once a week at the moment. Now it is recommended that you do not use this product with any AHAs like I just mentioned or retinol which is why I'm using it one night then using my exfoliating serums the alternate nights or my retinol so um, I use it on its own and that would be especially applicable to anyone who has a sensitive skin. Now they sent me a couple of sunscreens and this one has been really really hard to photograph because of the packaging for you guys but this is Frudia derived from fruit. It is green grape sebum, sebum control cooling sun gel. So this is going to be perfect for the oily combo skin. I have used this a couple of times and it has got a beautiful texture to it. I'm 
trying to hold on to it because we are just coming we're, we're in spring now so we're coming into our warmer months and I'm wanting to keep this to use that for those warmer months because I do think I will get more of that oily t-zone and the texture of this is just beautiful so it is a 50 plus SPF with PA plus 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 four pluses it is a nice cream and it just sinks into the skin really beautiful and gives you just the hint of moisturized looking skin it just gives you that a beautiful sort of soft glow so I'm looking forward to using this in the summer more as I said I've used it now what I like this smells divine whereas vitamin C you know stinks this is beautiful it smells of grapes this is also EVE vegan certified and it is a lightweight moisturizing sunscreen with SPF 50 plus it contains green grape extract for hydration and skin reviving benefits it's anti sebum P which is a trademark helps reduce excess sebum secretion leaving the skin feeling refreshed at all times okay so this moisturizing sun gel offers a broad spectrum SPF 50 plus UV protection and it doesn't leave a white cast so if you don't like a white cast this is really good I still am trying to find a physical sunscreen that I love and want to wear I'm just finding a lot of them are quite thick and I, I do want to go more to the physical sunscreens personally but I'm still using my chemical sunscreens especially when I'm wearing makeup because they're just much more elegant underneath makeup and I have found a couple of physical sunscreens that I like I'm just testing a lot out to try and see which ones are going to be the ones that I stick to buying but I do really appreciate this one it's lightweight and it feels beautiful on the skin it just feels like a a moisturizer to be honest it's really nice on the skin it also has niacinamide in here which is really good for the skin as well another moisturizer that they sent me and this has been quite the pleasure to use is wonder and it's the black rice hyaluronic cream and this is a moisturizer that I've been using in the morning I can also use this Hamish one in the morning because it's if I use a thin layer it's not too emollient for under makeup and this one is light and beautiful for under makeup as well now this is said to retain hydration in the skin by creating a protective barrier to prevent loss of moisture with highly concentrated hyaluronic acid and other nourishing properties i love hyaluronic acid i use a essence every day morning and night and sometimes I'll even layer it two or three times just so that my skin can drink in that hyaluronic acid and I like getting it wherever I can and then making sure that I also have a moisturizer on top so that that hyaluronic acid has something to draw from to take the moisture rather than taking it from my skin and sucking my skin dry it needs something to take the moisture from so you need to put a moisturizer on top where the hyaluronic acid can draw from so this moisturizer has the hyaluronic acid in it and so it has something to to draw into the skin and help nourish and um, hydrate our skin it's actually called the Haru Haru Wonder so Haru Haru Wonder is the brand and the product is the black rice hyaluronic cream it's a moisturizing nutrient filled cream which contains fermented Korean grown black rice extract 
It's highly concentrated hyaluronic acid with safflower seed oil, evening primrose oil and the natural fragrance of lavender oil. So this smells like lavender. It is divine and I've been using it in the morning but I suppose it would be a really good one to use at night too because lavender is supposed to be so soothing and to help you sleep. So maybe I could try it in the evening. I hadn't thought of that. 95% naturally derived ingredients. It's vegan friendly, cruelty free and has been made with EWG safe ingredients. I like looking at the EWG which is like I like the fact with the Hamish cream it didn't have estrogen when I'm unsure about a product or an ingredient I go to the EWG website a lot to see the risk factor especially for cancer in these products and I've been doing that for years not just since I've been diagnosed with breast cancer and for me it is just an added thing that I, if I don't need to put something on my skin and I have a choice not to, I like to live like that. Now look, I did get breast cancer, but I've got a hereditary link there. I had the predisposition, obviously, when they found cancer cells in 2017. My dad died of cancer. My mum had three different types of cancer and... Um, passed away at age 65 so I just think I'm one of those unlucky people that has the predisposition and the more I can protect myself from certain ingredients I will try my best um, I'm not always going to get it right but I will try my best and try to be well informed as much as I can so that I can avoid some of those things. Now this bottle is 50 mils and it also comes in a 90 ml jar as well. It is suitable for all skin types especially dry skin which is why I'm loving it and it is best used after your serums and essences and is great if you finish on top of this with a facial oil. Now we have the Illyun Easy Wash Sun Cream. I really like this, it's easy to use. Now Illyun is a subsidiary of a Moray Pacific Group. It develops hypoallergenic skincare that effectively moisturizes and revitalizes skin using Asian heritage ingredients. I love the size, it's 150 mils, it's an SPF 50, PA++++. I love the packaging. I love the fact that you can lock the lid so you can use this on your face and your body. So the packaging is perfect for popping in your beach bag and taking it with you and topping it up. It is a reef friendly product and I think that's amazing. I think that's just awesome and it is suitable for all skin types. It is a reef friendly sunscreen that protects skin from the UV radiation with an SPF 50 plus PA++++. This multifunctional product also contains lauric acid for anti-acne effect and another root extract for antioxidant, antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. This sunscreen easily washes off without leaving any residue. Its hypoallergenic product is made free of mineral oil, polyacrylamide, triethanolamine, tar colorants, PEG and talc. It is really lovely to apply. It has a soft texture and it applies onto the skin smoothly and it doesn't leave a sticky, sticky residue. So I have been enjoying this and I am going to repurchase that because I think it's going to be a brilliant little sunscreen to take to the beach and have in my Christmas holiday and I just love the package. I just do want to remind everybody that when you are applying your sunscreen to ensure that you are applying enough you need the minimum of two finger pumps to apply to your face three is great so for instance during the day if I'm wearing makeup I will do the two finger 
strips for pre-makeup. I will make my cup of tea in the morning after doing all my skincare and applying my skincare and my sunscreen. Go and have my cuppa and let it sink in, absorb into my skin before I look at doing my makeup. Today when I've gone for a big walk I've done the three finger swipe to make sure I have had adequate sunscreen protection on my face. So please ladies if you are using sunscreen well, it's a given. If you, no matter what age, everybody should be using sunscreen on a daily basis, regardless of the weather. We still get burnt, whether it's cloudy or sunny, and you need to be making sure that you are using enough. So highly, highly important. Okay, and the last product that I want to share with you is the Laneige cream skin mist now this has been a little bit of a revelation for me because you don't have to just use it in your skincare routine i can use it to refresh during the day as well now this is a refreshing fine mist spray that delivers intense long lasting hydration for up to 12 hours and I layer this when I'm using my skincare, I'm really enjoying it. It is a lightweight formula and it is enriched with amino acids from white leaf tea water to help strengthen the skin's moisture barrier. The super fine mist delivers an even natural looking glow to makeup wearers and non-makeup wearers alike. So you saw how fine this, um, hold it up here, hold it here. That's how fine the mist is and you can wear it over makeup or without makeup and it's just a lovely way to revitalize during the day. It is, it has antioxidants, it's fragrance free, paraben free, sulfate free and has vitamins included as well. So this has been a something I never thought I would purchase or enjoy but I do. I mean I've got this beautiful glow on at the moment and then it will sink into my skin and I will just have that lovely refreshing hydration to my skin and that is something that I am needing at the moment. Well I've loved all of the products that Stylevana sent me. I'm really excited that they did reach out. I have been buying my Korean skincare from a company that is in New Zealand but the product range at Stylevana is a lot more extensive so a lot of products that I can't get here I can get through Stylevana. Now their shipping was really quick, I was really impressed with their shipping. I have loved all the products I have tried but I am going to be looking to them as I add different products into my skincare routine. Don't forget to use the discount code to get a minimum of 10% off your order and if you do spend over certain amounts that will increase to 15%. As I said I will leave all of that information down below in the description box. Please let me know down below if you've used Stylevana and purchased any skincare from them and if so what products would you recommend? These are all new products to me. They are not that the brands aren't, I've used the brands before but these particular items are all new to me and I have enjoyed every single one of them. Just got to get used to the smell of that vitamin C. <laughs> but I'm happy to be using it as a 5% uh, concentration because that is a great way to introduce it back into my skincare routine. Thanks for joining me today guys. If you enjoyed that please give it a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below. I would love to see you back and I just wish you all the most beautiful and wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video. See you later guys. Bye.